Yo, what's going on guys? Cinematic, and I'm playing some Halo 4, and I'm sucking. I think I wrote like negative 5, but anyways. I'm not going to talk about the game just yet. Uh, I will be making some videos where I talk about what I think about the game. Um, but all I can tell you about the game is I love Halo. I'm a fucking scrub. I suck at it, but I love it, regardless. Um, but I uh, kind of wanted to just make a quick video and talk about some stuff that, uh, that I've been thinking about. I, I don't know... Maybe I, maybe I should have thought about it a little bit more because it might not make a lot of sense to people. But pretty much posted that uh, I couldn't stand uh, racist people, and you know one of the guys that came uh, and posted said something like, "Everyone's a little bit racist. It's hardwired in your brain," and that just uh, that that just didn't make sense to me because. Um, Basically, the way the way I look at it, and, and I'm gonna just state this right off the bat: these are my opinions. So, and then that's kind of what the video is about, or the topic. Um, I don't think that anything is hardwired in our brain when we're born. I don't think that uh, you know people are racist, um, born racist, or born homosexuals, or born anything. I think that every I, I personally think that everyone is just born, and then everything that that you uh, base your life around, your beliefs, your ideals, your own opinions, and things like that, are um, shaped by your experiences in life, uh, the different paths that you take during your life, and, and and see in the younger years of your of your existence, you might have to take paths that you don't choose to take. So, uh, to me, a lot of the racism comes from our, uh, our grandfathers and our fathers and mothers and grandmothers and great-great-aunts and whatever. Like, people in your family, uh, they have their beliefs already and they have the things that they, you know, have opinions about. And they kind of try to shape you towards what their beliefs, ideals, and thoughts are. And then what happens is there's a couple of different things that happen. Some people... Um, some people go along with what they're told. They're, they, they're influenced by other people. So if they grow up around a bunch of people that are racist, they're racist. And, and everything can change here and there in life. Like, I'm not saying that if you're racist when you're a kid, you're always going to be racist or anything like that. Um, basically, um, I feel like, you know, if you're, the, if you're a person that, that has been brought up around it and you accepted it, and you took that on as part of you, like your character, your thoughts, ideals, and opinions, and things like that. Uh, you can still change those thoughts, views, and opinions, but I'm not sure if you can completely wash them out. But you can, um, you know, I know people. I know people that, that when they were kids, they, they their parents were racist. And, you know, they grew up racist at first. And then they realized they started meeting other people of different races and different, you know, um, more diverse groups of people like they weren't just around one type of person and, and they realized that they really weren't racist like that so they made a change in their life to where they told themselves they were no longer going to think like that because it to them it now was not the right way of thinking and, and a lot of that like I said a lot of that comes because they were influenced into thinking this um but, I mean, that, that goes with life in general. Think about it. Um, I, I want everybody to think about this. Because, like I said, these are my opinions. So some of you guys are going to automatically disagree with what I'm saying. But, but think about this really quick. Um, if you're around children at all. Like, children come into this world and they don't have, like, these preconceived, like, ideals and opinions about skin tone or, you know... Uh, sexuality or anything like this. They don't have any of those thoughts. Those things are formed later on in life. Like, uh, and, and you can you can get uh, these uh, these things from a lot of different children if you pay attention. Like, you know, some children when they start getting around two or three, four years old, uh, say take a white kid, take a, take a boy. He's white and he's three or four years old, and his parents aren't racist, right? Say say his parents aren't racist at all. But he's never really seen, um, 
you know, well, you can't see this. Things have changed now, but but we'll say back in the day, a lot of kids maybe they hadn't even seen a black person or a Chinese person. But now with TV, I think that's changing a little bit. But but the question still comes up where some some children will ask like, "Hey, why does that person look different than me?" And, and then you have to explain to them that you know certain people uh, have different skin tones and. Uh, different uh, accents and all kinds of different things because they're from a different place or or whatever the case may be um, but like I've seen that a lot of times people will say like little kids will, will ask you like why is that guy so dark or why is that guy so pale or you know um, why does that person's face look weird compared to the average person because they've never seen a person like that or whatever but I really just pretty much wanted to say that like you know like i said i don't think that anything is hardwired in your brain i don't think you're born racist or not racist i don't think you're born um as a as a, as a homosexual or a straight person or anything like that i think that all these things are a combination of your uh, influences in life your beliefs that you have accumulated over time your um your own opinions that you've formed because uh basically you know like i said everybody does this everybody forms their own judgments and, and opinions and thoughts and views um even a person that is a follower that that never really you know took the initiative to to look at the world and say this is what i think about the world they still somewhat do this even if they don't do it on a large scale the, the difference between them would be that they look more towards, you know, the people that are around them that influence them to uh, make their, you know, opinions and things like that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just rambling on. Maybe this is making no sense to half of you. Hopefully some of you guys understand what I'm talking about. And um, I'll probably talk about this some more, especially if you guys want to leave me, you know, your, your thoughts or comments or anything like that uh, in some other videos because... I also wanted to real quick for this video is over kind of touch on what is fact and what is not fact um, the only facts that I can think of off the top of my head are that I could say that are concrete facts would be that we are all born into this world and we're all going to die and I can only say that that's a fact concrete fact because it's been happening since our existence and it's something that has not changed. No one has lived forever, you know. Um, that 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 to me would be the only thing I can think of that's a real fact. Like, you know, uh, everything else to me is what you want to make it as a fact or not a fact in your life. As in, I'm trying to think of things. Okay, let, let, let's say a, a real religious person would say that it is a fact that, you know, Jesus died on the cross for our sins and that there is a God and all these things. But but if you look at, a, at, a, at an atheist, they would say it is a fact that there is no God. Like, so to them it's a fact that there is no God and to a, a really religious person it's a fact to them that, that there is a God and he does all these things and blah, 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 blah. But I don't like talking about religious, so let's switch it to something different real quick. You know, a lot of people say it is a fact that you're going to live, die, and pay taxes. Well, I believe that it is a fact that you're going to live and die uh, until they bring out some way that you can live forever. That will be a fact as far as I'm concerned. The pay taxes part, I pay my taxes, but I know people that do not pay taxes. So therefore, that would not be a fact to me that you have to pay taxes. I've seen people get away with it for years and then end up dying before the tax man got them. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> so... Really, these are just some things I want to talk about, and like I said, probably in some uh, upcoming videos. I am going to take some of these videos and talk about actual gameplay from Halo, because uh, I'm really excited that the game is out now and that I have it, and there are things I want to talk about in it. So, uh, so expect those, but expect some of these too. Uh, man, let me see. What are some other things that people would say? So, a lot of people would say would fact would be a fact, but a lot of other people would disagree with them. Um, if you have any, you know, that you think are interesting to talk about, leave them in the comments, too, and we'll, we'll try to figure out some creative way to get it all in some videos. But, man, I don't know. Like, the whole...
post on Facebook just got me to thinking like, you know, different things. Um, I don't know. I'm running out of time. That's why I like kind of like, oh, fuck, I ain't got enough time to talk about shit. Anyways, guys, we will be coming up with some more videos. And make sure you guys leave some comments. If you like the video, leave a like. It does actually help me out. Like, it does. Why? 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 Why?